Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Jake with Mind Over Mind, bringing you some Bionicle news that I recently found on the interwebs. First of all, I just wanted to inform you that the 13th part of the Bionicle uh, web series is available now on the uh, LEGO Bionicle Facebook page of all places. So I will put a link in the description for that, and just know that that is available for you to watch at your leisure. The second part of information I wanted to put out is that some more Bionicle set names have been leaked or not exactly leaked, but have been discovered, resurfaced. Uh, so I will be going over those set names because quite fortunately, uh, these are very exciting and, and like I said, fortunately, it's very cool that we get some more Bionicle news. It's kind of been a while since we've got some leaks and set names and everything like that, but this is really exciting stuff and I really want to go over it with you guys. So, I will be reading off the set list. Here we go. This is set number 71312, Ikimu, the Mask Maker. Set number 71313, Lava Beast. Set number 71314, Storm Beast. And then there's a set number 71316, Umarak the Destroyer. Now, assuming that there's a set between 314 and 316, uh, that would mean that there's, you know, five of these new sets coming out. Now, we don't know if these are our summer sets or winter sets. Winter of 2015 slash 2016 or summer sets of 2016. Uh, my guess is that these would be sets for the 2016 summer period just because it looks like Ikimu is uh, in there as well as Umarak. Uh, and we can't really have two Umaraks. We have Umarak the Hunter and then Umarak the Destroyer. So I'm assuming what's going to happen uh, story-wise is that Umarak, which I'm assuming is the new kind of villain of this year, is going to get a revamp, and that's what his like Titan, quote unquote Titan set is going to be. Maybe he'll have a smaller set this year, this this winter wave, and then in the summer he's going to get a full blown Titan set. Uh, the same with the Kimu, I think he's going to get like a Titan slash Toa set or something like that. Um, but he's basically going to get a revamp as well. So these are legitimate because if you plug these names into the Lego uh, shop website. Um, basically, it'll say that the uh, the product is unavailable, as opposed to if you put a fake name in the shop website, it'll say that it is not found, which means that there is no such product. But assuming that it does exist, uh, it would say uh, the product is unavailable at this moment. So if you plug each and every one of these names into that website, it'll basically say that these products aren't ready for distribution yet, and there's no information on them as of now. So that basically says that, hey, these are legitimate sets. And that's what gets me really excited because not only do we have the set names of the Winter Wave, but I think, I believe that these are five of the sets uh, for the Summer Wave. And I'm not sure if these are all of the sets for the Summer Wave, uh, but we did get five sets for the, the, the Summer Wave that just passed. You know, uh, the Skull Grinder, Skull Slicer, Skull Scorpio, Skull Warrior, and then Ikimu, the Mask Maker, versus Kulta, the Skull uh, Grinder. So I believe that these are the summer sets. Anyways, the sources will be in the description. I want to hear what you guys have to think about this. Post your comments and theories, ideas in the comment section below, and I will be reading over those because I love you guys, and I can't wait to see your theories. This has been Jake with Mind Over Mind, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.